A very important concept in understanding metabolism is knowledge about adenylate energy charge. In the short form is AEC, adenylate energy charge. This was a concept developed in 1921 by a scientist known as uh, uh, Daniel Edward Atkinson. Okay, so um, what is this concept all about? We are aware that ATP, ADP and AMP molecules, they are not only allosteric molecules, but they have a crucial role to play in metabolism. We have looked elaborately at the role of these molecules in coupling of reactions. Similarly, in the energy level, of these molecules will determine whether a reaction should move towards synthetic manner or it should move towards uh, in the degradative process. That is decided by the adenylate energy charge. For example, when ATP is present, we say that if the cell is fully charged, it is fully charged. Why? Because an ATP molecule has got two phosphoanhydride bonds. Now, when AMP is present, we say if the cell is not at all charged, it does not have the capacity to promote reactions. It does not have the capacity to couple reactions. So, in such a case, what we do is when ATP is, when the cell is full of ATP, we assign a value of one. And when a cell is full of AMP molecules, we assign a value of zero. Which means, if the adenylate energy charge will vary from zero to one. That is what it means. There is a very simple uh, formula given by Daniel Atkinson. And that formula says, adenylate energy charge is equal to if the concentration of ATP plus in the concentration of half ADP. Why half ADP? Because an ATP has two phosphoanhydride bonds and ADP has half of it. That it has only one phosphoanhydride bond. So therefore half ADP divided by concentration of ATP plus in the concentration of ADP plus in the concentration of AMP. So this is the formula that is used in order to explain if they adenylate energy charge. Generally in a cell this value vary from 0 0.8 to 0 0.95. That is generally if the value varies. Now we should also understand when this value is lower than 0 0.8, it is on the degradative level. Let us represent this by using a very simple graph. On the on the x-axis, on the x-axis, we take the uh, adenylate energy charge adenylate energy charge on the x-axis. So therefore, it will vary from 1, 0 to 1. So this will be 0 0.5, this will be 0 0.75, this will be 0 0.25. On the y-axis, we take the reaction rate. Okay, so in the reaction rate. Now, for example, we know that when the adenylate, adenylate energy charge is zero, more and more ATP must be produced, which means all the degradative reactions will be highly active. All the degradative reactions will be highly active when the energy charge is zero. And, as the, and then it will keep on increasing the energy charge. But as the energy charge increases in a cell, 
in the degradative reactions will slow down. So therefore, these are NATP generating steps, generating reactions, or in the catabolic reactions. Now what happens, suppose when the ATP levels are very high, okay, so when the ATP levels are very high, uh, what will happen is, when it is very low, if the biosynthetic reactions will be very, very low, there is, will not be a biosynthetic reaction uh, promoted. So as the energy level increases, you will see that, okay, ATP utilizing reactions are going up. So if the blue is energy ATP utilizing reactions. Now, in other words, they are in the anabolic reactions. They will use the ATP molecules and it will be new molecules will be synthesized. This is a graph of graph to represent in the adenylate energy charge. What is important for us to know is if, if you draw the slope, if the slope is the steepest in this region and it is intersecting here. It is intersecting at this point. If you try to find the value of where it is intersecting, it is normally intersecting at a value that is about 0 0.8 to 0 0.95. It is in that region it will intersect. Which also means that all of our cells are functioning at this level. So it is not going below 0.8 nor it is exceeding beyond 0 0.95. So that is the region in which the cells are operating. We have a very interesting reaction that happens in a cell. When ATPs are hydrolyzed to AMP molecules, remember they don't have energy and we need to convert them to energy rich molecules. How to convert them? Add an ATP molecule and that will give rise to two ADP molecules. ADP has got phosphoanhydride bond. They are high energy compounds. And this is catalyzed by an enzyme known as adenylate kinase. So adenylate. So this reaction will ensure that the ATP cycle is on and the cell is able to fluctuate from this energy utilizing reactions to energy generating reactions depending on in the moment to moment fluctuation of a cell. This is the concept of adenylate energy charge.